<laughs> it feels so good to be back in this yard one, boys. Whoa. Did I win? Did I really? All right, Savannah, what are you doing in there? Looking for food. Boogie the one-eyed bull, what are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> Could it be we are finally taking a not Corvette and not 2020 today? We're actually taking one of the old Duramaxes? Yes, LBZ to be exact. Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day as always. First off, my apologies for no upload. I know it's been like three or four days now. I have not had my ZR1 since Wednesday. The weather has been awful. This is kind of like the first decent day we've had. I was kind of commuting down to the show, talking to people, handing out posters, you know, doing all that good stuff, and then coming home and really my days my days weren't content based. Now we're back into it because we're picking up the ZR1. That's a little bit later. And right now we're focusing on the trucks. Now it's been all about the L5P lately and I'm totally guilty of neglecting the old girls because I love my new truck. It's been, it's been great. It's been absolutely awesome. But I did not forget about these two and we're finally getting back into it right now. Mainly I wanna talk about, well mainly it's the LBZ, but I also wanna talk about my LLY because you wanna talk about neglect. At least this truck I've been posting about and doing some things, that truck I have not even thought about in like a month. This is my first born and I still love this truck and I've just, I really have not been a great parent lately. Number one, we got a new winch for this truck. This winch has been broken for like two months ever since the boat. New winch on the way, I have a new mirror on the way and we are repainting the entire truck. Now this is something that I've talked about doing off and on for a couple of years. And now that I have the LBZ and I will have that until the end of February, I have the 2020 as my daily so I can afford to have this one you know in a shop for like a month or two before I didn't want to paint it and go crazy with it because that would require me having my truck uh, sitting at a paint shop and a body shop for a long time well now that I have the other vehicles that's not really a big deal it's gonna be freaking epic we're doing color matched bumpers as well so this truck is really going to be very very cool when I get this back if all my plans go the way I want them to and they usually do usually my plans on the channel usually work out. If everything goes the way I want it to go and it turns out as cool as I think it will, I might only want to drive that and forget about <laughs> forget about this truck, but we'll see. Yes, this build is back on right now starting today and after we pick up the ZR1, we're dropping this one off. What we're doing right now is we are loading up my original ZR1 wheels into the LBZ because Shane wants to test fit them on his Z06, which we're going to check out. I think you guys are going to like it. It looks incredible. In pictures, I haven't even seen it yet. been focused on the 2020 the LBZ is really really nice to drive like I forgot how smooth and just how good this truck is you know on like driving wise honestly it's not that big of a difference now my LLY is a lot more rough I guess you would say I mean it's a lot higher off the ground uh, it's got a full leaf spring set up in the back so it's pretty stiff you know that thing's built for huge time like that thing's built for abuse and this truck is more a little bit more stock so it is really comfortable on the street and it's very nice to drive and this one is more updated you know it's got the steering wheel controls it's got the updated climate control my ultra my, my LIY has the old school just dials like it doesn't even have a little screen or anything for it so it is I mean the LBC is really really nice and the one thing you can't compare is you know the LBZ is pre-emissions and it still had cats and everything but this is pre DEF fluid this is pre uh, you know like where they made it impossible to tune them and to delete them it's like a $5,000 process these are a lot more simple and as a result typically a lot more reliable now the L5P's have been pretty good so far I think the first year they had some issues where they did a recall uh, but they've been good but I mean, you can't beat the reliability of these old uh, Duramaxes like the LLY, LBZ, uh, 
really in a lot of ways better than the LML and the L5P for reliability and uh, for maintenance, but we'll see. The L5P has been good so far. I guess you can tell it's not, I'm, I don't hide it well, but I still have a bit of uh, a bias towards the old school trucks and the old diesels. I just, I can't, can't get away from them. We are here at Enchain Designs, and if you guys don't know yet, the LBZ giveaway is live. That's right, you can win that truck right there, and we got, I mean, it already looks freaking sick. I love that angle right there with the with the stance, but we have a lot more coming for this truck. If you want to win this LBZ, super easy. Every five bucks spent at InShaneDesigns.com is an entry, like always. This one's going to be a little bit different. This is going to be a quick one. The Jeep uh, giveaway went on for about two months. This is only going to be a one month thing just until the end of February. Of course, February is a short month. This is going to be very short, just over 30 days. I have three keys on. Yes, uh, where are the keys? Here we go, right here. Oh, they're right here? Get rid of that old crap on oh, there and let's see the new key tags. New hotness. I was just saying, this is like a short, this is like the Jeep, short and sweet. Yeah, dude. Only like a month. So typically the ones we do for a month, which we've, we've only done one before, but it was, a lot smaller than the other one so you have a better chance of getting this truck right here okay. grungy letters yeah i like that hook me up with that i gotta get those off still i don't well, like you can that have, you can, dude. oh i'm taking them. all three of them yeah i'm gonna good. take them but <laughs> you can yeah. Put them on the, yeah i'm gonna take them. the other truck it man. is it's like baked on <laughs> well it's been on there for uh, uh 14 years yeah look at it it's like baked and it's, it's like, it off. It's like embedded off. into the paint he'll get it off what's up buddy yeah. Yo! See, I uh, did the color matching on the mirrors? Yeah. Not bad, right? That's fine. Did that myself. Oh, yeah, did yeah, you? Yeah, looks good. No, I did not know you did that. Yeah, I did that. I feel like I, I feel pretty accomplished. It's dirty, but looks good. It's dirty. I can do something. If you guys want to win this truck, definitely check it out. InShaneDesigns.com once again. This truck is freaking sweet. The LBZ Duramax. We got it tuned, got an exhaust, intake, the whole nine yard. Everything you do with a diesel is done, and we got more stuff coming. All the new key tags, Rolling Coal, Diesel Life, Dirty Max, Power Stroke right there for you, patches for hats, uh, truck emblems, knives. We have those still on the site. The old key tags are still available as well. American flag stuff, hats, camo jackets, the tactical tactical jackets in the uh, like black camo, the desert camo. I haven't even seen the new shirts. I seen it. The OD green, Dirty Max shirt. This is all new. I haven't even talked about it on the vlog yet. Curtis, are you yelling at us already? I just said clean up when we're done. No, we're not going to clean up, Curtis. Leave us alone. No, we were doing the flag. Yeah, dude. Oh, I like that. I like that touch a lot. Diesel smoke matters because the EPA sucks. <laughs> that could be a shirt later on. <laughs> the EPA sucks. Diesel Life with the in chain designs, ISD logo. Love that touch. Dirty Max and OD Green. Rolling Coal, Power Stroke. Favorite's gotta be. Dirty favorite's Max. gotta be the OD Green. Green. Dirty Max. I don't know. I kinda like this blue. I like the blue a lot. I like, I like that blue. As always, the shirts are that nice athletic fit. Nice and stretchy, comfy. We're we gonna get yelled at by We're Curtis. Get yelled at. If we don't fold the shirts back up. We are. I just got yelled at. <laughs> Honestly, I've never actually seen Curtis like really mad. I'm sure it's terrifying. Now look at this. Yeah, this is interesting. Dude, I've never worked in retail. Food, I could I could tell you everything about making a subway sub. <laughs> I don't know anything about folding You're a shirt. A professional I was a sub I was a sandwich artist, they call them. A sub artist. Mm-hmm. No, nah, dude, these are on like I don't know, I saw this on the commercial ones. <laughs> I saw this on the commercial ones. Fold the bottom. I like that. Fold. Flip. Boom. Dude, done. <laughs> so when YouTube fails, I can go get a job at Target. Shane's Z06, fresh back. Well, not really fresh back. He got it back like a month ago, but late model racecraft. Oh my God, it looks so insane. Uh, the dark, kind of like olive drab accents on the wing. Full camo. Even wrap the mirrors. Good Lord. <laughs> Yo, can you guess the brake caliper color? Brake caliper color. I mean, there's hints all over it. I guess I'm gonna say like the olive drab. Yeah. Olive so you got drab. you got OD green brake calipers. Yeah, we're testing out. I'm just testing, so I might get those powdered too. Okay. Dude, that is. <laughs> oh, you did the uh, you did the eyelids. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. It's, it's looking good, buddy. Can't wait to see all the fleet together. Z06, H3T, and the boat. Oh. All in one pick. Putting Strawman on notice, buddy. Yeah, Shane with the desert camo fleet. 
I like it. Uh, <laughs> you got <laughs> you got uh, the valved ones now. Yeah, the valve set, uh, kit. That's sick. Still gotta put the valves on. Because it was crazy loud. Yeah, it, it was, was stupid. It was crazy It'll still be loud. loud. You just can't shut it off. Yeah, now yeah. Now you can shut it. Off. That's the only reason why I haven't done like my axle back is still stock because of that. Yeah. But now that Corsa has a valved uh, system, I might get one. Yeah, dude. I think yeah. I should. Absolutely. Truck really does drive so smooth, and it's surprising given the fact that the tire is pretty low profile. It still drives absolutely incredible. And like I said, we have it all tuned up for you. Got the edge tuner in here can see all your stuff you need to see engine load boost uh, exhaust gas temperatures intake air temps all that good stuff trans temps everything you need is right there hardwired to the truck so no like you don't see any wires sticking out whoa jeez BMW risky uh, brand new head unit in the truck we finally have a head unit from this decade so we got that rolling lots of other stuff coming for this truck that i now am going to finally get to doing i've been totally distracted by the 2020 but now we're back into the lbz turn signal on the mirror anyway since the drive to the auto show is going to be boring and nothing is going on between now and then i will see you guys there we are here at the auto show in the supercars on state street kind of booth that's what it was last year not sure what it is this year but it's uh for it's a charity event where all the supercars are kind of lined up and uh, people vote for their favorite and whoever wins gets to pick a charity where $1,500 will be donated. So it's a pretty cool cause. GT2 RS Y sock package, 918 seats, which I think all, uh, all GT2s come with those, but this is a really cool car. This is for sale. I think they're asking 329 for this car, 329. Really cool though. And we have access to all the vehicles. You got the rope door pull here. Very neat. Again, the 918 seats, absolutely beautiful. Red stitching, it's a Y sock on the headrest. No back seats, of course. One thing you don't really notice when you see it in pictures is just how massive this wing is. Like the wing on my ZR1 is big. This one's quite a bit wider. Probably about the same length overall, but this, this is a big, big wing. 720S Spider from McLaren Philadelphia. Troy's uh, Peppermint Patty here. He has GT3 wing risers for his GT4. So the normal Cayman GT4, the wing is about, I'd say about here. And then he put these on, which raises it significantly all the way up there. You can see that's about a solid maybe foot and a half off the rear deck lid. Lamborghini Aventador SV, always a great choice. Can't go wrong with an Aventador. Even better when it's an SV. Believe it or not, this is kind of a normal 911, but just really clean and highly modified, as I'm sure you can tell. Little deep dish wheel in the back, GT3 headlights, a custom little GT3 hood vent. This is Guy Ardo, always a fan favorite. The Blue ZR1, of course. Reese, what are we doing, dude? We are getting you in the Formula 1000. I need <sighs> somebody to drive with. I need somebody to race with. This thing is so sick. Yeah, this I is would, you, brother. I would. I don't. Is it me? Yeah, I think you could do it. I want. I want to. I want to race with you. I want. Uh, I want to get you in the series, and uh, you and I have a good time. And just don't beat me. So you can get your helmet. Okay, so that's Hans pretty bikes, quick. Detach. Let me do this. So you're sitting on the ground. Yeah, basically you want to your feet through the sh okay. shelter. And Where's the pedal even at? Can. So you're like laying down, yeah, essentially. Laying down. You're not sitting like a car. You are laying down. No, you're laying down. <laughs> Here I am, Reese. I mean, usually it's a 30 minute. This is insane. Yeah, it's uh. I don't know if I'm ready for this, dude. Yeah, you this are. seems intense. But trust like, me, you drive a vet. Yeah, but I'd have to this. relearn the whole like because this isn't like a car. I'd have to relearn the whole thing when you're driving this. No, the wheels. You can learn it. That's great. You're a natural dude. I'm telling you, you look perfect. I feel like I could do it. You could train. do it, and I need somebody to drive with. Well, I'll have to ask the people in the comment section if they want to see me All drive right, in well, that one car. <laughs> okay, everybody, make sure you leave a comment whether Mike should start racing or not. To figure out who all of you are, so you better leave a good comment. It is truly unbelievable. You are full on laying down in this car. This is actually a pretty impressive car. Beautiful interior. The problem with these though is the price. $180,000 for this car. 
and uh, you know that steer look how old the steering wheel is and it, the climate controls it's pretty you know it sounds good but it just looks super old to me that wheel and the dashes are old like every other car at this price point has everything digital like it's way more modern and even the gear shifter with park reverse neutral look at how old that is how are you going to try to sell this for two hundred thousand dollars the only maserati i like and that i think is good is the levante suv if that's how you pronounce it looks good it's more modern this is the one to get if you're going to get a maserati get the suv LC 500 in a gold color. How about that? These are actually a really nice car. I love the design. The interiors are awesome. Love that wheel with the black and the polished look. You see design elements from the LFA. You almost get kind of a super vibe there too. But these are neat. Active arrow on there. Yeah, the LC 500 is very cool. The only bad thing about being here after hours is we can't open any car, but it is neat to see them. I don't even know what this is. An Audi e-tron Quattro. So I guess this is an electric, the Audi e-tron Quattro, okay. Here is a cool section, Genesis. And yes, I did say the Genesis section was cool, but they're new. Uh, Genesis G90, I think it is, is a beautiful car. One Doug did a review on had these insane looking like wire wheels, but they were, you know, of course, modern. This, a lot of good features, a lot of comfort, all for 75 grand. Again, a lot cheaper than the German rivals. Now at first glance, you might say that, no, oh, it's just another Continental, but the new, this is a new one and they are different. Uh, you can tell by the tail lights and the back end is a little smaller. They really did stick to the original continental design on this one not the original but the one from the mid the early and mid 2000s so it's pretty recognizable what is this monstrosity bmw x7 x drive 40i it's like a gigantic station wagon it's morbidly obese look at how simple and minimalist this interior is but really nice swedish flag on the seats as well i'm totally into the uh, xc40 as a little daily out of the luxury section, everyone's moving now. The Altima GTR sounds pretty good. GT2 RS, can't really hear it, but it sounds okay. I'm waiting for the startup of this. Hey, Troy. GT2. Go. I don't know how he drives that thing. It's so small in there. Sounds good, Troy. Smells like, uh... Yeah, what's that smell? Fuel. Is that Troy smell? That's America. That's just how Troy no. smells. No, the smell in the car, that's Porsche smell. Okay. They all smell <laughs> like that. I don't know what that is. Let her rip, buddy. Yeah. Car looks great, buddy. Into the poop. You'll make it, yeah. Right into the into poop. Into the poop. I know Troy feels yes. great about that. There you go, right I'm in the poop. I'm going park in the garage. I'm old now. <laughs> I'm old, man. See you, bud. Looks great. There it goes. Super Sounds great. great. That thing's sick. Wow. That's awesome. Oh, there he goes. I'm waiting to hear this one start up. When? Did I really? All right, we got the most votes. So now what do I do? Um, we're going to send you information on uh, how many votes you, you uh, won contest with and then we're going to let you know if you want to uh, okay. donate that what charity I so I got to pick the charity yeah. okay is there like a right. list or I just pick whatever I want okay I donated to four diamonds the cancer that's a good one 
because we're local. That's a, yeah, that's a really that's good a one. Really good one. You got number three, buddy. I called it. Yeah. Who got number two? Oh, the SV? That's a good choice. I can't I argue with that. I really had the top three. Yeah, I had, you picked them out? Yeah, I had Frank and Brandon fighting for two and three. I knew you won. Usually Reese does really well, too, though. He's always a crowd favorite. <laughs> Almost. horse poop I think we can basically if we go over here why is there horse poop in the auto show well this is the same building where the farm show is and that's only about two weeks prior to this so all the animals are in there and yes I live in a place where there is a farm show uh, so you know we're, we're not in LA here um, but the animals are all in there and then they clear them out they clean it and the cars come in a couple weeks later so pretty neat feels so good to be back in the cr1 boys oh my god even four days without it is too much way too much i'm even watching videos of other people driving cr1s i couldn't take it anymore we are back baby and thank you to everyone who came to the show and supported and we did win which is awesome and now we'll pick a great charity to donate the money to appreciate it guys all right well the lbz made it to pdw where it will stay for not long at all i'm sure like a day or two and then we'll get to work on that front bumper but this is where i am going to end the vlog it's been a long one hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up take care and have a great night guys